What's going on guys, Zach here and welcome back today to a new vlog. I wanted to make a video today because I've been getting a lot of people reaching out to me through messages and comments just asking me what I do to color correct my videos. I'm gonna be jumping right into Final Cut Pro and showing you guys the steps that I take to color correct my videos. All right, so jumping right into Final Cut Pro, if you guys have never even heard about this software, I highly suggest it. Go to apple.com, go download the trial, it's like 30 days for free, and you'll realize how fast you guys love this program. It's super user friendly. I sound like a spokesperson for Apple right now, but I'm not. I just love this program so much, guys, and I know you guys will too. All right, so as soon as you import all your clips, this is where they're gonna end up, right in your project area, and you gotta drag those down into your timeline. The timeline here is where you're gonna be editing your project. Up here, this is just the clips that you have imported. You're gonna be just dragging those things down. You're not gonna be editing up here at all. Everything is strictly just gonna be down here below. Now before we get started, I wanna show you guys the raw clip here, straight out of the Mavic. Now this is shot in 4K, 30 frames per second, and it's just extremely smooth. I was shocked when I saw this footage on the computer. All right, so once you have your clip selected, come on over here to the little wand, show color board. Now this is a fairly simple process, only because I don't go crazy on my clips, guys. I just wanna simply fix the color on here. I wanna bump up the saturation, bring down the shadows if I have to. I just really wanna make these greens pop as much as possible without overcorrecting it. I've learned from my mistakes so many times and that's just the best way to learn with color correcting is to go out there, shoot some stuff, come back in your editing room and just mess with the colors. And that's the most important thing is just to learn from your mistakes. Now I follow a guy named Jacob Owens. His name's Buffners on YouTube. He's an incredible cinematographer and I followed him for like the past couple of years. And I've learned so much from him and what he's always said is when you're editing, don't stick to one color profile. Kind of mix it up. Do three or four different color profiles and see which one works best with that. And I've really took that to heart from day one and that's what I've done to kind of really improve my color correcting over time. Practice, practice, practice guys. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna just bring the grays down. I always start with a more neutral color and I'm gonna just kind of bring it towards the blues. And as you can see, the yellows kind of just pop in a little bit. Adds that warmer feel to the picture. Uh, as far as the whites, I just wanna bring out the branches a little bit, not too much. Maybe kind of back that up a little bit. As far as the blacks, let's just drop it down. Now, as far as the blacks, I kinda wanna just keep it even. I'm just gonna shift it over a little bit. So after bump, so after playing with the shadows and highlights and mid-tones and all that kind of stuff, I bumped up my saturation, and this kind of gives you a good idea of what your image is gonna look like in the final product. So this is where I kind of go back to the color palette and just correct the little things that I wanna correct. I don't wanna correct too much here. This image actually looks really good. I just wanna bring the blacks back a little bit, not too much. Kind of where the branches pop back in. Now as I'm color correcting, I stare at the trees here, not as much as the color, but the, the branches of the tree, only because when I'm going over the colors, it shows me what shadows are popping up and what highlights and just the little things that I feel like I need to fix. I don't know if that's just something I'm kind of more focused on than anyone else, uh, but it's just a little trick that I've learned that kind of helps me out a little bit too. Um, so yeah, the saturation looks good, the colors look good, the exposure looks good. I think this image is good to go, it looks great. But my last thing that I do here, and I kind of just trial and error this thing as well with every clip and see how it looks. The wand right here has a thing called balance color. Now what this pretty much does is, it's pretty self-explanatory, it balances all the colors that you just kind of created. So we're gonna click that and just see what that brings out. You know, that, that's a super dark image there. It looks beautiful, but the, the shadows need to be brought up a little bit. So we're just gonna bring those up a tad, the neutrals just a tad. Now that image looks so much better than the actual raw image. So after all said and done, this is what it looks like, guys, all finalized. I think the colors came through very nicely. They pop at you, super vibrant, and just really well balanced. Now with that being said, I hope this video was helpful because I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video of just the settings that I use on my Mavic because people have been asking me what frame rates and resolutions and just the general settings that I use before I'm about to fly. And you know, I'm not perfect in any kind of way. I'm no professional, but I do know the Mavic pretty well and just the settings over time from the other drones, it's kind of just an easy switch over and you know, being that I have experience with this, I just feel like I can give you guys some knowledge and just teach you guys a little bit of what I know I'm learning every single day, and just every time I learn something new, I'm gonna share that with you guys. So I hope you guys did like this video. If you guys did, don't forget to drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Tell your family, tell your friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.